equivalent EMF of the two electric cells having different EMFs connected in parallel combination. In the diagram, two electric cells are connected in parallel combination. These are the two electric cells which are connected in parallel combination. And this parallel combination is connected to this external resistance. And here we can denote the EMF E1 and R1 are the EMF and internal resistance of the first cell and E2R2 are the EMF and internal resistance of the second electric cell and these two electric cells are connected in parallel combination between the two points A and B and external resistance R is connected between the two points D and C. A current I1 is generated from the cell of EMF E1 uh, and current I2 is coming from the cell from another cell of EMF E2. The two electric cells have the different EMFs E1 and E2 and uh, I1, I2 are the currents which are generated from the two electric cells and I is the total current which will be flowing uh, from left to right uh, through the external resistance uh, R and in this case I1 and I2 are the current which will return to the electric cell again. So this is the diagram in which two electric cells are uh, of EMFs E1 and E2 they have the different EMFs are connected in parallel combination V is the potential difference across the external resistance R and V is also the terminal voltage of the two electric cells having different EMFs E1 and E2. Let V be the terminal voltage V be the terminal voltage across the two electric cells of different EMFs E1 and E2 across the two electric cells of different EMFs of different EMFs E1 and E2 connected in parallel combination connected in the parallel combination between the two points A and B in the parallel combination between the two points A and B. Therefore, V equal E1 minus I1 R1, which is the potential difference or terminal voltage across the first electric cell of EMF E1. From that, we can find out the current I1, which is generated from the electric cell of EMF E1. I1 is equal to U1 minus V1 divided by R1. Small R1 is the internal resistance of the cell and we get I1 which is the current generated from the electric cell. Current generated from the electric cell of EMF E1. I1 equal U1 minus V divided by R1 which is the current generated from the electric cell of EMF E1 and internal resistance R1. Similarly, similarly, the current generated from the second cell, from the another cell of EMF E2 and internal resistance R2 is I2, which is E2 minus V divided by small r2. I2 is equal E2 minus V divided by R2. That is the current coming from another cell of EMF E2 and internal resistance small r2 current generated from the cell of EMF E2 of EMF E2 and internal resistance R2 and internal resistance R2 I2 equal E2 minus V divided by small r2 which is the current generated from the cell of EMF E2 and internal resistance R2 therefore the total current therefore the total current flowing total current flowing through the external resistance R or total current uh, coming from the two electric cells is given by that means total current flowing through the external resistance capital R is equal I is given by I equal I1 plus I2. I1 and I2 are added and we get uh, the total current I at the point A and which is equal to I1 plus I2. And this total current I which is equal to I1 plus I2 will be flowing through the external resistance R towards right. Therefore, I equal E1 minus V divided by R1 plus E2 minus V divided by R2.
putting the expression of i1 and i2 we get e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 minus v is taken common under bracket 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 so i uh, we get the expression of i which is e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 minus v bracket uh, 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 which is equation 1 again current flowing through the external resistance r i is equal v by r so potential difference across the external resistance r is v equal to i dot r product of current and resistance is the term potential difference across the external resistance r which is equation 2 i equal v by r equation 2 comparing 1 and 2 we get v by r equal e1 by r1 plus e2 r by r2 minus v bracket open 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 therefore v equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 all divided by 1 by r plus 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 v equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 whole divided by 1 by r plus 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 which is the terminal voltage of the two cells having different EMFs. v equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 whole divided by 1 by r plus 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 which is the terminal voltage of the two cells uh, having different EMFs e1 and e2 terminal voltage of each cell or potential difference across the external resistance capital R. Uh, v is the terminal voltage of each cell of different EMFs E1, E2 or the potential difference across the external resistance capital R that is V which is equation 3 which is equation 3 again I equal to V by R which is the current flowing through the external resistance capital R therefore uh, I is equal E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 whole divided by 1 plus R bracket open 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 that is uh, the expression of current electric current flowing through the external resistance capital R or this is total current generated from the two cells combinedly and uh, this is the current flowing through current flowing through the external resistance capital R external resistance capital R now in the diagram I is the current flowing through the external resistance capital R and we get the expression of this total current I flowing through the external resistance capital R which is equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 whole divided by 1 plus R bracket open 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 V is the potential difference across the uh, external resistance R and V is also the terminal voltage of each cell and the expression of this terminal voltage V is E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 whole divided by 1 by R plus 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 this is what uh, the terminal voltage of each cell when the two cells of different EMFs are connected in parallel combination now we can consider the diagram again V is the terminal voltage of each cell and if we consider an equivalent circuit uh, with respect to the parallel combination of two cells of different EMFs. So this is an uh, electric cell having equivalent EMF or this is uh, the equivalent electric cell having EMF E and internal resistance small r and this equivalent cell is connected to the same external resistance capital R connected to the same external resistance capital R and here V is the terminal voltage of the equivalent cell and current I is generated from the cell and this current I will be flowing through the external resistance capital R and name of the loop is ADCBA and this is this electric cell is the equivalent electric cell this e electric cell is the equivalent electric cell the terminal voltage it should be terminal voltage of the electric cell 
the terminal voltage of the equivalent electric cell of emf capital e is given by v equal e minus i dot small r where i is the current and small r is the equivalent resistance internal resistance therefore v equal e minus v by r into small r in place of current i what we can put v is the potential difference across the external resistance capital r and in this case potential difference across the external resistance capital r is given by v equal i dot r under bracket it is v equal i dot r therefore v equal e all divided by 1 plus small r by r v equal e divided by whole divided by 1 plus r by small r where small r is the equivalent internal resistance of the two cells which are connected in in uh, parallel combination comparing comparing equation 3 and 4 comparing equation 3 and 4 we get e divided by 1 plus small r by capital r equal e divided by 1 plus small r by capital r equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 whole divided by 1 by r plus 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 in the next line e divided by 1 plus 1 by r dot small r equal equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 divided by 1 by r bracket opened 1 plus capital r bracket opened 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 bracket closed where r equal r1 dot r2 divided by r1 plus r2 which is the which is the equivalent internal resistance of the two electric cells equivalent internal resistance equivalent internal resistance of the two electric cells connected in parallel combination connected in parallel combination parallel combination combination we can draw the diagram here two electric cells having emfc1 and e2 are connected in series combinations between the two points a and b e1 r1 and e2 r2 are the emfs of two electric cells and internal resistance in this case two cells are connected in parallel combination and reciprocal of equivalent internal resistance will be equal to sum of reciprocal of internal resistances of the two cells so 1 by r equal 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 r comma e divided by 1 plus 1 by r dot r1 dot r2 divided by r1 plus r2 equal if we do uh, here equal e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 whole divided by 1 by r bracket opened 1 plus r 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 or comma e divided by 1 plus 1 by r r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 equal if we do lcm then we get we can write uh, here we can write e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 1 by r 1 by r and we can do the lcm that is r1 r2 plus r into r1 plus r2 or r2 plus r1 whole divided by r1 dot r2 bracket closed or comma e equal 1 plus doing cross multiplication 1 plus 1 by r r1 dot r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 dot r2 whole divided by 1 by r 1 plus capital R here if we do the LCM in the denominator then we get R1 R2 plus capital R under bracket R1 plus R2 or R2 plus R1 whole divided by R1 dot R2 
or comma e equal capital E is the equivalent EMF e equal again we can do the LCM so here what we can write R into R1 plus R2 uh, R into R1 plus R2 in the numerator plus R1 dot R2 bracket closed this is the first term into into E1 R2 plus E2 R1 E1 R2 plus E2 R1 whole divided by R1 dot R2 into capital R R1 dot R2 capital R R1 dot R2 divided by R1 dot R2 plus capital R bracket open R2 plus R1 now they will cancel out that is R bracket open R1 plus R2 uh, plus R1 dot R2 uh, will cancel out and also r1 dot r2 will cancel out r1 dot r2 will also cancel out capital r, r is uh, also uh, uh, capital r will cancel out so we get 1 by r r1 plus r2 e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 dot r2 in the numerator we can write capital r r1 dot r2 divided by 1 therefore capital E equal capital E equal E1 R2 plus E2 R1 whole divided by R1 plus R2 E1 R2 plus E2 R1 whole divided by R1 plus R2 so this is the equivalent EMF this is the equivalent EMF equivalent EMF of the two electric cells of different EMFs E1, E2 connected in series uh, parallel combination. This is the equivalent EMF of the two electric cells connected in parallel combination. Connected in the parallel combination. So this is the equivalent EMF of the two electric cells. Again we can consider the diagram. Terminal voltage of each cell is V which is equal to E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 whole divided by capital R plus uh, 1 by capital R plus 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. Now current flowing through the external resistance which is given by capital E equal E1 by R1 plus E2 by R2 whole divided by 1 plus R bracket open to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2. That is the current flowing through the external resistance and now equivalent emf of the two electric cells connected in parallel combination is e equal e1 r2 plus e2 r1 whole divided by r1 plus r2 this is the equivalent emf of the two electric cells connected in parallel combination